So what is the best video editing PC this year? In this video, we're gonna be checking out a build from MSI that is insane to see if it lives up to the title of the ultimate video editing machine. Coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of strategy videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and links in the YouTube description below. We'll list out all of the components and specs of this build, as well as other resources as well. Let's jump into the video. So I'm super pumped to be partnering with MSI for this video. They sent out all of these PC components to help us build the ultimate 4K video editing machine here at the Think Media Studios. And we've been expanding our team and we've really wanted to have a pro setup. Now a disclaimer is this isn't a budget setup, but it actually is pretty reasonable considering the performance. And after a few weeks of testing this out, we have been blown away by the performance. We edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, all settings are set to max resolution, and it just has effortless scrubbing on 4K video files. We stacked multiple video files, added LUTs, added blend effects on multiple layers of video, and it had no frame dropping whatsoever. And I also caught Kyle testing out a few games on the PC and it crushed those as well. So much so that he actually was able to export a video project while playing Battlefield 1 and didn't see any performance drop. That's ridiculous. And when it comes to exporting 4K video projects, this build is insanely fast. On Kyle or Omar's MacBook Pros, even the newest version, and my other video editing PC, a lot of times a 10 minute 4K project will take a, around two times as long or two and a half times as long. If you add LUTs or any kind of effects on there, it might take even longer, but this machine consistently was exporting 4K projects with heavy effects in about half the time of the project length, crazy. So where does all that performance come from? Well, let's jump into the components of this PC build and talk about some 4K editing tips as well. So the first component of any killer video editing machine, of course, is the motherboard. And this is actually something I notice a lot of people kind of overlook, because you gotta keep in mind, the build is only as strong as the weakest link. And this one is built out with the MSI X299 SLI Plus, and this is an incredible motherboard. It has support for the latest X-Series CPUs with up to 18 cores, so all the latest Intel processors. And it also has new technology, including the digital power phases, and it will support two M.2 drives and one U.2 drive. Now we're gonna touch a little bit more on why that's awesome a little bit later in the video. And of course, this motherboard is SLI compatible, meaning if you want to put in two video cards, two GPUs, you're good to go. But one of my favorite things about this motherboard is all of the I.O. ports, right? As content creators, we use a lot of accessories, we use a lot of external hard drives, and this one comes packed with eight USB 3.1 generation one, three USB 3.1 generation two, so that is the latest technology there, super fast, and eight USB 2.0 plugins as well. And two of those ports are Lightning USB 3.1, which enables you to transmit data up to eight gigabytes a second. And I love having all those ports because one, you've got the new technology with USB 3.1 generation two, meaning you can have blazing fast speeds as accessories catch up with that new tech. But then you also have plenty of USB ports so you don't need to use a hub. You know, you want to avoid any bottlenecks in your system and a hub is just a, you know, one USB port that then splits off multiple devices. It's nice that you can have everything go direct with this build. Now another cool thing about the MSI board is two gigabit ports. Now one of those is where you're gonna plug your internet in, but having a second one means that you could also have super fast speeds if you had like a server and you could have isolated channels communicating with that server. That's what we're planning on building here at our home office so that we can have local storage that multiple PCs can pull from and this board is ready to handle that. 
The second component that we see in this build is the CPU, the processor. And this one has an Intel i9 processor with 10 cores. Now, to put that in perspective, my previous video at APC has a four core processor. And that's one of the biggest reasons why you see insane performance out of this PC. And so again, this processor has 10 cores and actually 20 threads. And one of the ways that I heard that explained the best is that your processor's cores are like mouths and your threads are like arms. And so you can imagine if I only have one mouth and two hands and I was trying to feed myself, I could chomp data with my mouth and I could serve up food with my hands. Well, the more cores you have, the more threads you have delivering data, and the more cores you have, you know, chomping and processing that data is going to influence performance. And so this PC is insane for multitasking, for fast re rendering, exports. It affects every aspect of your workflow. And if you're thinking about upgrading and getting a video editing PC this year, remember this, the more cores, the better. The third essential component of any video editing PC is the RAM. And this build comes with 32 gigabytes of HyperX Predator DDR4 RAM. Now, experts say that if you're editing HD, you typically want at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, but if you're gonna be editing 4K or even 6K footage, that you want 32 gigabytes. So it's awesome that it comes ready with that. Now, additionally, MSI has technology on their board called DDR4 Boost, which just means that the board and the RAM work extra well together for increased performance, speeds, and stability. Next up, we have the GPU, the video card, and this build has a MSI GeForce GTX 1080 with eight gigabytes of memory, and this is a killer card. Now, we use Adobe Premiere to edit our video files, and we love the Mercury playback engine. Years ago, when Premiere implemented that, it meant that video editing software could start using your GPU memory for rendering in real time and speeding up your workflow. And one of the things that Premiere sees with that is CUDA cores. This card has 2,560 CUDA cores. Now, you don't even need to know what those are. You just need to know that if you have more, it's better. Additionally, one of the things I love about this card is the outputs. And as a video editor and a content creator, you might want to be doing multiple monitors. We're actually gonna be adding additional monitors to this setup. And so this card has an HDMI output, DVI, but I'm most pumped about the three display port outputs. And the technology in there is DisplayPort 1.4, which at the time of shooting this video is the newest technology. And DisplayPort is really better because it supports 4K at 60 hertz. They are locking connectors. It has a lot of other features in there, but that DisplayPort 1.4 will actually support 8K. Mind blown. And for the setup that we're building here, we ordered a ViewSonic 4K IPS monitor that's super great for color accuracy because of course, if you're gonna be doing graphic design, motion graphics, 4K editing, you want a great monitor to support the entire setup. Now the fifth category of a killer 4K video editing PC build is of course the drives. And the foundational drive in this build is an Intel 600P 256 gigabyte M.2 drive. Now, this is newer technology that you may or may not have heard about yet. There's of course solid state drives as they get a little bit smaller. There's the traditional larger hard drives. And then there's these M.2 port type of drives, which are really more like cards. So the drive is actually underneath the video card right now. And one of the powerful things about M.2 drives is they are connected directly to the motherboard. So you have increased speeds and performance and overall resistance results when it comes to multitasking in video editing. This Intel drive has read speeds of 1,775 megabytes per second and write speeds of 560 megabytes a second. Blazing fast. Now this drive runs at 7,200 RPM, so it's super fast even for a much larger drive for storing your media files like 4K footage, all the media components that go into editing, and together having the operating system running off that blazing fast M.2 drive, having your media files on the Seagate Barracuda is a killer combo for editing. And as we mentioned, again, everything scrubs fast, you can access your files really fast, it's really impressive. 
And what's cool is this case is also primed for storage and drive expansion as well. And so you have two standard hard drive mounts. The Seagate Barracuda is in one of those right now. And then you also have three solid state drive mounts, plus all of those SATA ports. You could add even more drives than that. But the point is all of your storage needs and future expandability options are ready to go for the future. And then of course the final component is the case which of course holds everything together and this is a Coolmaster case as well as a Coolmaster 750 watt power supply. Now what's crazy about this build is that it's actually very efficient. At any given time, it's actually only using about 50% of that 750 watts. And when we run it with intense video editing or gaming, we've noticed that it only got up to about 60 to 70% of the power usage, which is really, really cool. Now, as far as the Coolmaster case goes, you actually have a hybrid of liquid and air cooling with the two big fans on the front, as well as the liquid that is cooling down the processor. And one of the most important things when it comes to editing 4K is making sure that all these components stay cool. One of the biggest causes of crashes is overheating as well as even bigger damage than that and potentially a complete system failure. And so a very thoughtful and intuitive design for this entire build. So that pretty much covers the components of this PC build. And as far as my final thoughts go, this PC slays 4K video period. I mean, MSI has done a great job of pulling together components that are really thoughtful and they all work together from the CPU to the video card, to the motherboard, to the RAM, to the cooling. It's a system that delivers results and has a lot of synergy amongst the components. But you might be wondering, what is the investment for a 4K PC build like this? And if you add all of these components together, you can pick up everything for right around $3,000 here in the US. Now, of course, components and prices change all the time. So check out current prices of each component listed out in the YouTube description below. And so this is definitely not a budget 4K editing PC, but rather an investment for professionals. You know, I think about people who make a living from freelancing, from doing 4K video for clients, for using video production and content creation in their business. And if that's the case, speed matters. I mean, it's the kind of PC that you work on all day, every day, five days a week for years to come. And if you can speed up your workflow, you speed up your business and ultimately your income. And I think about even here at Think Media, as our team grows, as our content expands, and as we're doing more things in more places, we're discovering that when we have faster workflow from upgrading our internet, from upgrading the components that we're using for content creation, that it absolutely impacts the impact we're making with our content. Additionally, what I love about this setup is the new technology and the expandability options. Again, if you're gonna make an investment like this, you don't want it to be outdated in a matter of months or even a matter of years. And so I love the fact that there's plenty of space to add more drives, add more components, as well as lightning, USB, 3.1 generation two, the M.2 uh, ports and things like that, so that you can level this machine up as years go on, but you also know that you have a machine that would deliver the performance you need for many years to come right now. But that brings us to the question of the day, and that is, what do you think about this 4K video editing PC build? And do you think it lives up to the title of one of the best 4K video editing machines this year? Let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna check out a video about the cameras and the gear that we use to shoot 4K video, click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.